Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this speaker card Oracle for December 2023. So I wanted to give you the option to look at those little kitty cats that we're going to pick from. This is number one and it's associated with fire element. Now, follow your intuition because it doesn't mean that it has to be your sun sign. You might be called to pick fire element, but that might be some place in your chart. So fire here, that's number one. Number two is air. Very pretty little connection here. And again, doesn't have to be your zodiac sign, especially not your sun. There's so many other placements. We have here water. A lot of glow here. And we have last but not least earth. Okay, so those four options with elements associated with it. Let's see what's next for December 2023. Pile number one with the element of fire. This is a card that speaks of generosity. Okay, we have this card. So generosity, open your heart. Not surprised with the fire elements. Uh, we also have stay true and be in your power with Mother Isis. Wow, that sounds lovely for December, pile number one. We have also Nurture. I open my arms and wrap around those who that need nurturing, starting with myself. And we have the Prophet. Okay, so some of you, if you don't know much about Palm Street, that's something that you can look for. This is called the Moon Star. This could be placed in your palm of the hand. Um, this has the qualities of deep intuition, psychic and clairvoyant ability, paranormal powers, and profound insight. So there is, <laughs> if you pick this pile with this fire element, there's definitely a glow to you that is coming especially with the stay true in your power there's also an idea let me just back up so we have more space because we're going to use tarot cards uh, we have this energy that also shows that the more you practice self-love self-care and nurture the more that generosity that you offer to yourself is going to manifest in all areas of your life okay so let's see more <laughs> let's see let's see what the cards here wants to whoop, share there's a lot that wants to be shared we have the temperance okay and we have the seven of cups that is interesting i feel that you know what's showing up here pile number one it feels that the more you balance yourself the more that what used to be unclear for you as far as your path Okay, it seems to be more narrowed down, but not by your mind, but more from a place of following your authentic self. It's as if, let me see, I, I feel like <laughs> it's 222 here. And sometimes I just feel like I need to show my face because I need to talk to you. Okay, um, as if before, it's almost when you were like, for example, like projecting ideas about what you wanted to manifest by one. And there's just so many options out there, but it's sometimes dictated and catered because of the programs we see. If you, for example, it's social media, maybe you're like trying to copy the algorithm and try to understand. By the way, that's something that never worked for me. <laughs> never okay so all that i manifested in terms of growth was not by studying the algorithm on the contrary so it might be something for you pile one with this fire element that you have to spark your joy that you have to spark your uh what makes you feel nurtured cared for and from that place there's like it's almost like the things that used to be illusionary because those is this is a card that speaks of dream but also illusions and here it seems that the options that are going to be created out of this space out of this fire out of this joy is going to be more in alignment with things that spark your heart okay 
So let's see what else as far as the cards. Pile number one, because right now, December feels just really joyful. By the way, some of you, you know, um, if you have, for example, a fire moon or a rising sign that is fire, that could be also a way to look at those pick a card. But again, it's up to you. I just felt that I wanted to associate an element for this one. All right, let's see what, oh yes, Page of Cups. Oh, I love that I just said that for you, pile number one, because this is the Page of Cups and it's this deck. When I pull this card, it's always telling me like to just let my creativity speak. And here I really feel that the inner child, the inner child needs to come forward. There's something that I read just earlier before, um, before even starting this reading, but just before. And I was wondering, why did I see this? Um, it was saying that a person was sharing that the more they connected to their inner child, the more their willpower was coming forward. But you see here, it's a different type of willpower that we see as, as the society gives us. It's more willpower that stems from following that drive that naturally comes from when we are kids, like things that we want to experience, things that we want to do, you know, waking up and saying, hey, I want to go and ride my bike, or I want to draw, or I want to take a class for this or that. So some of you, it, it's a remembrance. I feel that there is like a connection back to your sacred, authentic self, especially with this energy. Let's read that card for you here. You are a sovereign divine being with spiritual authority and freedom within. You do not need permission from anyone to be who you are and live your life as you so choose. This is your divine birthright, guarded as a precious treasure that it is. And remember that you are a divine being free to be you. This is so interesting. So some of you, if you like to do frequency healing, um, the Auric Health and Wealth playlist has some soul retrieval and fragments of light that can help you. I have upcoming uh, for the YouTube members a child, inner child sovereignty uh, attunement. So some of you, if that's something you want to look up, I do offer a level up <laughs> for the ones that resonate with the music sound engineering that I create to help you. This, I, you know, you guys, there's so many words I can use to help you tap into the vibrational, vibrational tuning to a certain um, knowledge. This is something I understand because even for myself, when I have communication with spirit, I'm like, how do I do this? How do I tap into this when I feel my mind is out of alignment and sound just does not miss for me because it has no words. It just has feels and it allows me to destructure the construct of the mind. All right. So some of you, especially I feel this is interesting. I don't know who, who it is. Might not be everyone, but I feel for you, it's some of you, there's something about maybe having your creativity that was uh, shame stalled in some shape or form when you were younger. It was not encouraged. It was not, you know, cultivated. And there is so much potential here that I can feel for you, pile number one, as you dive into this. So definitely an invitation of an activation. Maybe some of you just the, the drawing and you don't have to be really good at something for trying. There's such great activation just in the trying something new because you're allowing your brain to open up, just like when we're children, to open up to a certain frequency that is open to learning. There's something here about learning, learning new skills for you in December. Oh, I love this. Oh, I get chills everywhere. Down my spine. <laughs> spine. <laughs> All right, six of wands. It came in the reverse. So I feel that with this energy, think about yourself more in December, okay? This is a time where everyone's going to be busy and Christmas and the holidays, Hanukkah and everything. But it shows here that it's a special time for you this year. 
It's a special time for you, pile number one, a time for um, really honoring yourself. And I, I don't know, this is, I get activations sometimes that are just so weird. Um, but when I saw this exchange with this older woman, I feel like that for some of you, it's connecting to your crone energy if you're female, but also as a man gender, uh, this is your past self. There's something about your ancestors here that is coming strongly um, that is going to be reactivated through some of the craft. Okay, and what I mean by craft, if you're going to decide to pick up any type of hobby, there's something. There might be someone, someone you're going to meet, something that's going to be sparked. I've seen miracles, even for myself, starting crafts. Okay, you guys, this is just this is just impressive how, you know, we repeat uh, the development of certain skills and we think we don't know, we've never tried it, but sometimes we have. Let's see, for some reason, I feel like I want to talk to you about a shadow. All right, this card here. Okay, nine of pentacles in reverse. I guess some of you, it might be that you have a little bit of difficulty feeling um, not secluded, through this process, or maybe you're going through the end of the year feeling lonely because you're far from family, you wish, or whatever. Whatever, it, that's the encouragement for December. Whatever is the circumstances. I mean, whether you're family or not with family, uh, whether you feel lonely or overwhelmed because there's too many people, there's just this invitation that when you're going to spend some time with yourself, there's a possibility to reconnect with some really great psychic gifts because it even speaks of the prophet there's just something that's going to be activate in terms of psychic clairs but it needs your solitude you know i i'm very <laughs> i think it's actually this morning that i thought of this because i've been working on certain things and again it's going to be music you guys you know that um for 2024 and I was like thinking, oh my God, I'm spending so much more time alone and I feel such like a hermit and I miss, miss being with people. Um, but at the same time, I have this quote of Tesla that came up and that said, you know, like to create and to have all this invention coming through, it needs your solitude. So it's almost like I want to encourage you with the solitude. Some of you more journaling, definitely more journaling. Uh, honoring, self-caring, creating an atmosphere that is almost like, feels sacred, almost as if you're going to your own temple, you know, something that doesn't feel so lonely because you're just like, you know, your regular space. Create something magic. There's definitely a lot of magic that is coming uh, through this uh, month of December when I was just like preparing all of this. There's an activation. Some of you, you know, I... Um, channel all those messages according to a reel and there is for this month of December an association of invitation of spiritual growth there's just something so wonderful that is coming for you and it's going to require your solitude so we're going to put it upright because you're going to be fine <laughs> going to be fine pile number one with your solitude because you're going to learn through this process how to nurture yourself better and when you do you're going to be surprised but some of the things that you did not know and you're like which way am I going to go which way am I supposed to go it's going to become clearer not from your mind because you're going to enter more of creative brain waves alpha state okay where you're going to be able sorry for my dog <laughs> probably someone visiting us. Maybe it is going to be a visit from your ancestor. Remember, some connection from the past. It could be also from one from the past. But let's see what we have here. Ooh, I like this. Because here we have the victory, the six of wands, and the six of pentacles. So here, some more blessed exchange. I feel that you have to realize, pile number one, that maybe you were sorting out your own vibrational field of attraction. And what I mean by this is that when you vibrate to a certain frequency of beliefs, you're going to attract experiences that are going to be in alignment with that. But now as you are invited to tap into your creative self 
there's more nurturing and care that's going to invite more loving dynamics in your relationship. So I feel that if you've been stressed about this end of the year, the season, this is a number 12. This is a lot of introspection energy, completion as well energy for December. This is going to be a rebalancing of how you feel and how you look at things. And I'm being called also to look at how she's looking more at the young person here. I feel this is just almost like a, it's so weird to say it, but like a family reunion, but your own, between your inner child, your current self, and your past selves. This is like a, almost like a multidimensional merge that I feel that's happening for you. I love this. I so freaking love this for you. Pile number one, fire element. This is what I have for December. That sounds so exciting. Let me know in the comments, in the details, how you resonate with this. And you can also claim it. And also like, subscribe. And again, if you want to level up, I do have two options, astrology and music. Music includes the astrology, by the way. And that's what I have. Thank you so very much. See you next month. Pile number two, this is associated with the air element. It doesn't have to be your sun sign element, but it could be an element that's also in your chart. You could have a Libra Venus, you could have an Aquarius moon, whatever. This card speaks of guardian. It speaks of shielding, it speaks of protection, it speaks of healing, it speaks of boundaries, okay? And letting everything dissolve and evolve uh, through the month of December. Okay, so let's see what's next. We have the higher self. I am ready to communicate with a higher self, with my higher self, sorry, <laughs> in my dreams and to become enlightened. Wow, okay, that promises a lot of you know, upgrades for you, uh, pile number two. Wow, abundance of sophists. Abundance in many forms is increasing in flow to you. Continue your good work of building channels through which abundance can be delivered to you. Freely share your talents, your love, your wisdom, and self, and enjoy the abundance responsively flowing to you in so many forms over and over again. Love this. Okay. Wow. Well, that seems that it seems that there's some spiritual upgrade for you. Definitely here. Pile number two, air element. Okay. The air is very much connected, you know, working with your astrology to the rising sign, the breath that brings life to you. It's also connected to the lungs. It's connected also to the large intestine because we're processing all those things as far as zodiac energy and um, Chinese medicine, by the way. You have the card of the Epicurean with the Venus star. So some of you, you might want to look in your hand if you have any star shape, okay? It says here as far as the key ideas that it has a strong need to enjoy the senses, craves comfort, luxury, and delight, indulgent, and enjoys elegance. Wow. Pile number two. There seems to be a lot. Let me see here. <laughs> There's a lot around money increase. But I feel that it's because you're enjoying life more. Okay, because it doesn't have to come from the physical ownership of things. I feel it's more that you're activating your senses. And it could be your psychic senses. You could be right now guided to step into a version of yourself where you're going to connect more with spiritual abundance. I feel I want to mention it to you. So maybe, and I think I mentioned it, maybe you want to look at your Venus placement and also your Jupiter, okay? There might be something for some of you, okay, that are a little bit more knowledgeable with astrology. You might want to look at the readings according to the element of your Venus and Jupiter because uh, together, this is the master teacher of your intention and desires with Venus and spiritual abundance, expansion, growth with Jupiter. So I really feel those energies 
and definitely with the Merkaba here, the Star of David, some activation with um, your yin and yang principle. You, you may have done a lot of work. And remember, this is entering December. So December is number 12. Number 12 is all about this completion energy, this refuge, this solitude. So there is a completion of, of everything you've accomplished with 2023 that is going to be rippling outward. So this just, it just feels very abundant. <laughs> I'm like, almost like, ah, let's go to the cars because I'm almost like, I've, I'm at loss with words. That That's what I want to say here. All right, let's see what we have for you. Pile number two, air element. This is so lovely. It just feels so lovely. Almost like, you, you, you know, walking into nature and breathing so many new things. Okay, we get, oh my God, I mean, what are you going to, some of you are going to hit the jackpot. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? The Ten of Pentacles. But this, you know, and I want to tell you some of you, it, it might be money. It feels like a lot of you is going to be an increase in money and worth. But it's more about how you feel about everything, your relationship to others, your relationship to your stability, your security, uh, your relationship to your growth. Some of you, you know that I channel all the, <laughs> everything pretty much that you see in my reels on Instagram, and now I put them on YouTube shorts. Um, this, is, this is an invitation for December 2023 to really tap into our spiritual growth and activate our magic, activate our authentic self, activate this, this very raw, wild, and, and very unique aspect of the self. Okay, so for you, there's something also about abundance, gratitude, having this mindset that seems to be very um, obvious that you've practiced. Maybe some of you have just been working more and more to be, um, you know, making decisions based more on your higher self and maybe saying no to certain things that were you know, maybe fast money or fast little jobs and say, you know what, I'm going to stick to this. It might, it might take the, a little bit more time. It might be a little bit more time to start before I see a real increase in real abundance, but I'm going to stick with it. There's something about dedication and commitment here that is very strong as well. Let's see here. This card came kind of on sideways <laughs> with the six of cups. I would say that there's probably something from childhood that um, has been, was blocking you in the past. There's been something in the past, maybe a past connection, it could be with a parent, it could be with the way you were raised, those belief system about yourself, I'm hearing more, okay, that made you, um, you know, it's very interesting because now I'm hearing it helped you develop the skills that you needed to be at that next level that's coming up. Because whatever is channeled in December for you, pile two, it feels like it's just the beginning of something greater. Okay, it's just like almost like you're stepping into a role where you're you're protected because of the guardian energy, but this there's also this kind of um very strong connection that you've started developing between yourself and your higher self. And it allowed you to realize that some of the hardships, some of the scars that I like to say, you know, turning your scars into stars, um, you, you've, you've accomplished that. And that's something you should be proud of. There's some, some type of, of acknowledgement. If you're in that pile and you chose this and you're still struggling, Definitely go and check out my Auric Health and Wealth playlist. This is where I have, uh, especially the soul retrieval frequency that I share with everyone. But I will have an inner child sovereignty frequency that's going to be for the level up music membership. So some of you, if you resonate well with the sound engineering, you can support me and access some of um, the next level <laughs> of sound engineers. I have lots of things that I'm looking forward to share. But again, this is in the process. And I feel as some of you, this is where you're at. You're in the process of something great because you're, you're acknowledging some of 
the wounds and especially some of you if you follow you know my page and my reels i recently i think it was a couple of days ago posted about the lotus energy from this very thick mud very deep very you know stubborn almost you were still able to rise i love this for you pile number two there's just so much delight i feel the word delight that wants to come you know all right let's see what else wow up oh. okay eight of swords you probably had to overcome a lot you know what i feel with this energy that you had to surrender and face hearing feeling uh some of you feel clairvoyant seeing you know like really experiencing some of the very harsh recollection of your experience whether this lifetime or past lifetime depends you know on your um psychic abilities but i feel that some of you you really had to surrender to witness the the harsh patterns and mental prisons you were in and then look at this little bird that's the first time i noticed this bird and i've that i've owned this for a while um it's as if like you're ready you're going to be ready to fly you're going to be ready to realize this was all an illusion this was all an illusion but you there's something that really says, like, that feels very predominant for you, pile number two. It's almost like the skills you developed from those wounds were needed, so very much needed, okay? I want to share this with you, pile number two. For me, I know that some of my childhood trauma, and especially if you've been, like, in that narcissistic empath dynamic relationship, especially with your parent, it makes you hypersensitive okay this is called hsp uh, personality hypersensitive but what i see and i was able to realize is that this hypersensitivity that i had because i already had a lot of psychic uh, awareness of my clear audience and clairvoyance as a child that i was hypersensitive and it would create a lot of hypersensitivity to sound especially okay so for sound I, I could just feel things coming my way and a lot of empath will resonate with this <laughs> it was 11 11 on this portion you guys wow that was like oof. um so some of you you might be i want to share this with you some of you you might be a uh, life path 11 okay um, but this is what helps me create the music that i create my hypersensitivity to sound because I really feel it. And then I experience certain things were breaking and uh, breaking my body in many different places where I had to overcome, you know, the paralysis, the nervous uh, system breaking down. So it met my hypersensitivity to sound was able, was allowing me to see how it reacted on my body, especially because I had those fractures, because I had those wounds that were so deep in my body and all layers of myself. So this is an example out of many possibility, but do you realize that some of you, this is something you're going to really harness. I feel that some of you, you've already harnessed this, but it's going to go to the next level. Some of you, you might be at this precipice okay because you're I, I pulled the eight of swords so some of you you need to hear the stories so you can really see that everything you've gone through that was in the dark and had to be really heavy there's just so much light and so much gift and potential that is awaiting for you okay so let's pull more cards because i really feel like some of you if you're still in that little process again my invitation is my music because this is how i feel i can support you guys i was called to pull the two cards under the deck so there's something about shadows when i'm called to look at the um underneath the deck okay so this is very clear to me you need to bring more light into that situation the three of wands there's something about spiritual ed education how to alchemize how to look at things and put light on it and, and, and understanding that once you put the light on the things that you feared, the fear is going to dissipate because there's no amount of darkness that light cannot transcend. 
consciousness is the master healer. This is the sun. This is your master healer of your conscious self. So some of you, maybe you want to also look at the pile that is connected to your sun sign, okay, the element. So I, there's this something as far as also realizing that when you go through the shadows, you're, you're able to bring so much more contrast because it's almost like a scale. The deeper you go into the dark, into the negativity, the higher is your potential for positivity and light. So a lot of light workers, light warriors, soul healers, and all of those labels, spiritual labels, they go through a lot of traumas for that very wide gift of expansion, just like a scale, just like in voice, how, you know, your range, how much can you cover? And what that means is that when you cover a certain range of things that you've gone through, what also helps you to uh, understand is that it gives you also a way to relate to others, not because they have the specific same trauma, but because the more you allow yourself to overcome any trauma, just that, it gives you a wider and wider perception of consciousness that offers healing to others. So I feel that for you, pile number two, air element, there's just such great upliftment that's coming in December 2023 through the shadow work that you've done and that you may still be doing, but it feels like a lot of you, you're coming to the towards the end of that, okay? There's just definitely some desires that are going to be manifested, but again, it is going to come through your connection to your inner child, making sure you heal that connection because there's some there's a new direction that is coming there's a new direction and what i mean by direction i feel like some especially it's heading to that tower um you know maybe there was some it's funny because we have the, the tower card that is an option you know in the tarot but here i'm just being called to see him just like flipping this coin and this is like a chance this is luck and it's showing you, yeah, maybe those tower moments, they were bad when you experienced it and it, was, it felt heavy, but there's a luck, there's a chance, there's a gold. I just discovered, I think it was yesterday for the first time, I noticed this little kitty cat and all the coins that were there, okay? This, there's definitely something new that is coming. This, it's an expression of yourself that is brand new, more authentic, more in connection with your higher self, your sacred self on purpose, and it's going to shine so much in December 2023. I love this for you, pile number two. This is what I have. Again, if you need support or you need anything um, that is related to my music, you can look at the details and description of this video. I post a lot of details so you can find your way. If it resonated and that was your pile, please let me know. And um, that's that. I will see you next month for this specific um, type of picker cards. And um, that's that. Good luck. That sounds exciting. Pile number three. This is your little kitty cat. And this is Illumination. It speaks about glowing. It spe speaks of overcoming your fears, your shadow, and also going through a phase that you had to overcome and transcend any type of shame, hurt, sadness, disappointment, anger, guilt. There's a golden energy. There's more love that is coming through this card. Okay, let's see what else you have. Ooh, you got the card change. I embrace change in this new day and I adapt to what is to come. So for you, water energy, it could be your sun sign, but it doesn't have to be. If you picked intuitively this water element, you might want to look in your chart. If you have water placement, that could indicate some additional message. But again, I felt called to associate elements just also because the water element is about the subconscious. 
So there is something as far as whatever was in your subconscious mind, as far as how you relate it to yourself, that is changing pile number three. It says here the da dark mysteries. The dark goddess calls you to her inner chamber where she holds a test and a gift for you. The test is your willingness to meet and release the fears within that, wi within that which has been secretly held in your deepest self. The gift is freedom, peace, opportunity, and prosperity in all its forms. Will you accept her call? Your time for deeper initiation is here. So you may still have, in this space of December, uh, water element and with this illumination, some process of, I feel it's almost, I feel I want to speak to you. It's as if you started the process. But through this change, it can feel very unknown. And proceeding with this, those new ways of being, this new way of relating to your higher self, yourself, your lower self, your inner child, um, people, circumstances, it might still be new. There might be some type of vulnerability that just requires of you to take more time. Be steady, be slow, offer yourself the security you would give to a child. And why do I say this? It's more that when you're going through those phases of transformation, there is also that process that when this new version is born, we still have like a, you know, it's like a newborn. We still have a couple of years, well, in human years, you know, before it walks and talks and is a little bit more, you know, uh, self-sufficient. So there is something here as far as allowing yourself to parent yourself in this new version of yourself, just the way you had wished and hoped people cared for you, your parents or caregivers, okay? And especially with the card here, survival. So some of you, you may have this line in your hand, the security chakra, it says, and... I'm reading this, um, that the key idea is a security and stability, the ability to achieve goals, material satisfaction, and self-preservation. I feel for you, December, um, pile number three, is all about that new glow that you've mastered, but also understanding how to preserve it. There's something here as if like some of you, and I know you'll relate more to that, that maybe that little story is that, you know, if you've uh, experienced a lot of ups and downs, like in your life, when you had like high energy and you're glowing, everybody's coming to you, everything is attractive, everyone wants a piece of you, and then there's a fall. There's a fall in your energy, maybe you get sick, maybe you injure yourself, um, maybe you lose your job, there's something that happens and you're not as attractive and everyone disappears. There's something about you having to understand why this occurred because it seems that there was not enough boundaries when you had that light and you had all this that was available to share. You did not keep enough for yourself. That's what it feels like. Now, we're going to pull some tarot cards, but this is what my intuition is tapping into as far as a pattern, the boundary pattern, and this month of December being a month where you're going to learn how to keep your glow on. <laughs> okay? And you're going, to, you're going to see the difference. I feel like this is going to be a really great lesson that you're going to harness. I feel like some of you also... I don't know why, but I saw the face. You're going to understand how to almost like preserve your beauty and you understand that the way you look at yourself in the mirror and you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm looking old or I'm aging. It's more because of that aura, that energy. And if you're overgiving and if you have weak boundaries and people are able to infiltrate your field and, and influence you to do this or, you know, uh, just you're not able to self-care enough, you're going to see that ultimately reflect in your perception of yourself on, on your physical self. I've seen this, and some of you, you may have seen this in the past, and it's like, it's not just about sleep 
and great health habits. By the way, it does matter, <laughs> but it's not all about that. You can have great habits and still feel that energy because it's a drain. It's a drain on what? On your aura, on your energy field. Yeah, we, we had definitely here some tower moments, things you had to destructure, things you had to really let go of here, water element, pile number three. But I feel that there is, this, this was for the greater good because the seven of swords, this were some deceit, maybe deceit about how you were perceived, how you were valued or undervalued. There's just something about when I say the glow, I also want to uh, uh, associate it to your wealth. Some of you may know I have released, and now I see it's really predominant for December, my pl latest playlist, Your Auric Health and Wealth. And this is about this energy. This is about preserving some of you know um, that light, but also retrieving that light from past experiences. Maybe you were blamed, maybe you were guilted into feeling a certain way about yourself. Maybe some of you, you are very beautiful, you know, to others and attractive. And maybe it, 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 it attracted a lot of deceit, full connections. There's just a lot as far as the face, you know. Maybe some of you also, you had to put a face of happiness and now to, to, to be accepted, for people to want to be with you, to feel attractive. But really, it was draining you more. I feel that you're just letting go of this. Definitely pile number three. Water, I'm not surprised because water taps into the subconscious. We're definitely allowing ourselves to understand in greater ways uh, our subconscious programs, I feel for you. So four of swords, you definitely would, um, it was reversed, you would definitely benefit to take a break from a lot of your past connections, but also maybe self-care and power nap. This is something I've been practicing um, all this month in November where I'm doing, you know, self-regeneration uh, music frequency. Some of you, you know, you have been a part of the level up of the membership. There is a light regeneration frequency, but this is more about power napping. Because every time you have an upgrade in awareness, it's almost like an upgrade on the phone. You see how many times we have like software upgrade? So you have like system, like your whole phone and the whole iOS or, you know, system and program that changes. But sometimes you have like those little upgrades, those little things that click in your mind. It is great that when you have all this, you realize that it's taking you a lot of light energy just to put that light on those aspects that were dark. Okay. When you do that, this is great to rest. You can power nap, you can rest, it depends on when it happens, but realize that association because Every time I do this and every time, it's like you wake up, you're a new person. Whatever was, is processed. It doesn't linger anymore, okay? It's processed. There's something here about acknowledging what I'm sharing with you as a process to upgrade yourself that is important for you, pile um, number three with the water. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. Um, I feel you have to watch also overworking yourself. For some reason, I feel more sword energy here. Maybe just overworking your mind, monkey mind, chatter, you know, letting things just run, run, run. So, yeah, and not feeling emotionally complete. There's definitely for you, water energy, some release about this, okay? We are stepping into a, a version of ourselves. I feel it's more like you are being called to embody the dark goddess. And what I mean and the dark feminine energy. And that means, you know, being strict on your boundaries as far as what you allow and what you don't. And, um, and kind of become that person that you really want, like be treated the way you treat others. And be okay with the fact that this is what you deserve. 
There's something about worth and deservingness and it's connected to your health. It's connected whether or not you allow yourself to rest. Some of you, if you have poor sleep, I feel that could be still because there's some mental chatter as far as how you relate to your reality. Okay, let's try to transmute this, you know. Uh, pile number three, I feel this is, this is something um, that needs support, definitely. Okay, yeah. Some of you, this is about a choice. Maybe some of you, there was a choice about, uh, yeah, a relationship. This is interesting. Okay, I need to talk to you. <laughs> this is like a choice and with this card that speaks of a connection to childhood. Some of you, and that's very common, you might be very empathetic, if, especially if you chose this according to your um, sun sign, if you're a water sign, you might have attracted some narcissistic dynamics, and some of you, you might still be attracting those dynamics. And it's what it's showing me is that you have to start making choices that are based on that empath that you are, you know? And that's what I said as far as like, you know, if you wouldn't do this, whatever this is to someone, why would you be again and again with someone that does that? It's very interesting. It was 1221 on the recording of this portion. There's something about your DNA or some ancestral behavior maybe that you inherited. It's a time for you to make a choice and make a choice that values you because I feel that there is something greater that wants to come. Let's see what comes after this process. Because I feel that some of you, 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 might, you might still struggle. By the way, I'm, I'm channeling this. I still have, uh, you know, the last call for the Medusa reading. This is about if you suffered of untruth, injustice, being the black sheep, the sacrificial lamb of your family. That's definitely something for you. I still have, you know, 48 hours for this reading if you want to get it. Um, you know, December 1st is the end of it, but I feel like some of you, maybe you're on that threshold line and, and that has been, you know, kind of weighing on you. Okay. What's next? What's next after we make those decisions? Oh, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Queen of pentacles. Now she can reverse, not reverse sideways here, almost as a condition, you have to choose yourself. You have to choose yourself and you have to be okay with some of you. It might be that um, there could be a breakup if it's a relationship, but it could be also a breakup from friendships, dynamics, or taking a break from family, even though it's going to be, you know, the holidays. There's something here as far as doing what's best for you. That's very important. Because if you want to stay and stand in your power, and start to understand how to reintegrate after this phase, reintegrate being with others without them, uh, or them, when I say them, it's almost like without you, because you're the one doing it, without you letting others, you know, kind of like make that, that space for yourself, just be constricted more, 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 and that you shrivel like a prune. It just feels like you need to understand this energetically. For me, it's more easy because I see energy move, but this is what I want you to understand. It's almost like there's no more light. There's no more space for your light. You need to, you need to choose yourself, okay? So some of you might be something deep because it's, it feels like it's a, you know, again, if you chose this, it could be, the water element. There's something very subconscious about this. I feel I want to read this card. Let's see here. Think of each crease as a flowing river. The more power it carries, the deeper and darker the crease, the more power it carries. Okay, this is what I wanted to read. The darker the wound, the deeper the wound, the greater the opportunity. The greater the power. This is something that my empath need to understand. When they start being in their power and they start being able to say no in faces of when, you know, powerlessness or po your power is trying to be taken away, it has a ripple effect that is much greater. Why? 
because you come from a place that vibrates very much from already the heart feel with your empathy. But when your mind comes into knowing, no, this is not for me. The situation, this person, this invitation, whatever, is not for me. It's not right for me. It could be not right for me right now, but it's not right. And if it's not right, I don't say yes. I say no. When you put in coherence your heart's feeling and field, in alignment with your mind, that's how you feel goes. Yeah. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Pile number three with the water element. Some of you have seen my YouTube short or my reel on Instagram about the lotus flower. You have, pile number three, you've, you've, you've had a lot of darkness. And the more power is available to you. It's time to understand that, honor that, and harness that. Okay, it's going to be a great month for you to really own that power. I'm sending you many blessings your way. If it resonated, please don't forget to like. You can leave me a little comment. If you need support, you have the descriptions of everything that I offer. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Pile number four and the earth element. So I'm not surprised for the earth element to have this polarity. This is an energy of paradox. This is about dark and light. This is about turning everything around according to whatever side of the coin you want. It's about, there's a lot of energy about free will here, but there's also blessings from being able to, what I like to call, turning your scars into stars. Okay, so this energy is strong for earth energy. Um, now, the earth element, and especially associated with the zodiac and uh, astrology and Chinese uh, medicine, is going to connect a lot to the spleen, is going to connect also a lot to uh, the uh, stomach. So feeling supported by the universe, I feel, is very strong for you in December 2023. You have also, wow, growth. Oh, yeah. There's something here. Do you know what I feel for you, pile number four, is as if you were a seed that was in that soil and was not, there was nothing that was happening for a while. But there it is. Whatever you've done, whatever you're doing as you're watching this is actually promoting, almost as if you're shining, you're the, you're the sun, you're the one shining the light on that seed and activating your DNA, activating the matrix of your own prophecy, your own purpose, your own fate. It's just something like that's almost like very um, faded, divine destiny at work here. I, I, if some of you, you've been stagnant or feeling stagnant or just, you know, wondering where life is going for you, this is definitely some switch that's coming on. It says here, I challenge my step, myself <laughs> to step outside of my comfort zone as I travel on the road to growth and illumination. There's something about you trying to do something new, okay? There's something that wants to be activated that has been activated, but that is in the process of growing because this is a process. So December, you know, is a month 12. This is a month that ends a year, you know, this type of calendar. And that means there's some type of completion energy that's coming with it. Some type of also celebration. So some of you, I feel this is the word I want to use. I didn't use this for all piles, just for you, uh, you know. Um, pile number four, there's some type of celebration energy that feels that's coming up. You also have the flower of life. Wow. You are entering a fertile period of your life. You are guided to think of yourself as a creative being and to surrender your control over how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. Don't resist change. Instead, Go with the flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. What's interesting is that I was, I was going to read, don't resist your destiny. I feel as some of you, it's almost as if your destiny 
if you've been like trying to hyper focus on what is my purpose, what is my destiny, what is it that I'm meant to do, be, or become, there's something that is going to be revealed this month. There's something that is going to be revealed, but it needs your surrendering. I think I have um, a reel like this. Um, maybe I had not posted on YouTube that is about holding a blueprint. Your, your seed. You are a seed. You have a blueprint. And it's as if you were dormant and now there's something that activated it. Whatever was maybe a belief you removed, uh, something that happened, you manifested, you uh, maybe allow yourself more time for yourself. But as soon as you did this, it's almost like you have this activation that started, but you need to hear this, that the way it unfolds is only through the sacred feminine. And that means unknown surrendering flow and something that is a process you haven't experienced yet you haven't experienced in this lifetime but not any lifetime because whatever is your destiny now is a compilation also of past lives and karmic debts that were paid contracts that were dissolved and resolved so you can't know and it's going to come through the feminine. And I feel like some of you, um, especially with this card, the passionate one. So some of you, this is the fire hand. I think this is more about the shape of the hand. Okay. It says the shape of the hand is a physical representation of your most basic character traits and approach to life. Fire hands have a slightly long palm combined with short looking fingers. Fire-handed people seek a life that is adventurous and challenging. They strive to create personal independence. Now, this is still associated with earth. You might be someone that has a lot of earth and fire, okay, in your composition. Now, the key ideas is assertive, self-motivated, and fiery. Zealous and intense, likes excitement and attention, and an initiator. Now, this is interesting because... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just laughing because <laughs> uh, I feel like some of you, the higher self, has been trying to convey that message and there's been a little bit of a resistance. Um, because of that very strong energy that you're holding, pile number four, there's been some resistance to allow the feminine to step in and to initiate you, okay? And what I mean by the feminine is almost like let yourself be guided to do things that are outside of your mold, outside of what you, uh, you know, maybe approve of yourself. Some of you, <clears throat> yeah, there might be some things that you were told you cannot do. If you're masculine gender or, you know, are holding on to strong masculine principles of patriarchy, you might be facing having to surrender those programs and that means you know you're not supposed to cry you're not supposed to dance you're not supposed to do anything that looks girly there's a lot of things uh here around this energy that i feel um that's coming for you pile number four now let's see wow let's see your tarot cards as far as what to expect what's next in december so there's a lot of options with this Seven of Cups. There's a lot of options, but when I'm being called at night, again, I love tarot cards for this because I never, there seems to be a new detail that shows up. I never looked at this card and noticed how this little cat is petting itself. I feel that self-care and self-nurture is where the proper options are going to be offered to you. It seems that you're more in this space now where there's a lot of illusionary direction and you want to kind of not put everything on hold. It's not that they're not good ideas, but it's not just right. It seems that when you start caring more for yourself and allowing yourself to feel more, pile number four, you're going to be able to have, and I feel like most for you, it could be just one idea and I feel this is going to be very valuable because 
is just above the option with the coins, okay? And I feel that maybe some of you, you, you were scared to hyper-focus on being materialistic, especially after a spiritual awakening that happens. Um, but this is almost showing me that this is more of your worth. Your worth, as you start self-caring, is going to increase your value energetically. And that means that the opportunities that are going to come your way and that you're going to meet halfway are going to be in vibrational correspondence with that amount of self-love and care. Okay? So let's see what else. So December 2023. Can we have more details about this energy? Up. Oh. Okay, temperance, definitely practice um, your balance. And I would say, <laughs> you know, uh, I used to do a lot of personal training. Um, and that's something that I was telling my male clients that, and my female clients, I say, women need to work out like men and men like women. And what I meant by this is that naturally the structure of the masculine gender is builds more muscle and that needs they have less flexibility so if you are masculine gender watching this picking this pile definitely work more on your flexibility if you're feminine gender and that means what i mean by gender i mean with the hormones you secrete okay um because your body will invite more of that so if you're feminine gender you have a propensity propension to be more flexible naturally you need to build more muscle that will help you and what i mean by muscle more strength more support okay and that's shown also uh, actually people that are more flexible injure themselves more than people that are not flexible so that's something here as um, <laughs> a guidance you know it's like spiritually a uh, spirituality put into motion because it's important it feels like important for you to understand uh, maybe some of you you have to pick up like um a good health and exercise routine but uh again according to rebalancing some of the things that you're not too comfortable with. And I would say for some of you, if you're not comfortable or you're like, oh, I never want to try this because this, this, this. I personally always found that the things that I was fearing and resisting were what was going to offer me great value. Okay, so there's something here for you uh, on that message. You also have the two of wands. This is interesting. I want to pull another card because... It feels that you're, yeah, it feels like you're being called to review the two of wands and this three of cups in, in, in the reverse. I don't know if some of you, maybe um, you have to review a little bit more your achievements, okay? Because I feel that maybe through this process, especially in that growth, especially with coming from a paradox, some of you, you might have like done a lot of shadow work or have to do a lot of shadow work or have walked a very harsh path, okay? Um, and you have to transmute all of this and you've been doing this and there's a growth that is being offered, there's a new life that is being offered, but it's almost as if you need to make sure you always keep this in mind as far as how much of that process because it's not so much the experience that you have to keep in mind the negativity it's more that understanding the process how you were like an alchemist of the soul you've been able to transmute so much of that and i feel like for some of you there's some type of like integration through the body you're doing a lot of like understanding through spirituality, receiving messages, mental exercise, reprogramming and things like that. But it's almost as if you want to take it further. And as you like do the emotional rebalancing and like purposely after maybe you journal or after you have, you know, a cry session, whatever is going on um, that you're, you know, purging, put that into 
you know, the construction of something. And that means that some of you, maybe you want to have like a yin yoga session, you know, just stretching, you know, as you like release all of this, you see how it's going to open up more of your muscles now that you have let go of a burden. There's an awareness of this through the process, okay? And that's why I want you to start more like implementing as a feminine process is not so much the experience, the, the darkness, because it could be the detail of the darkness is just an expression. So we know ourselves and we, God knows itself through us. Okay. Um, but it's, it's more of the alchemical process that you have to understand and own that, harness that you've been able to do that and you're able to do it more and more and with more ease okay because just like in exercise or flexibility you don't you may lose a little bit uh, but your body remembers there's something also about remembrance you know and so again letting yourself celebrate those small little victories imprint them in your body through your self-care honor them you know even if it's it looks like it's small steps to you you have the king of swords what this this wow look at this this little cat now licking its paw again but this time it's white wow this is just like what i said oh i get chills everywhere some of you you are strong alchemist of the soul strong potential to alchemize darkness into so much light and abundance and it's going to create so much more life force but not just to yourself, to others. I'm seeing that there's one here also. Okay, and this one is, there's like something about this little cupcake. What's interesting is that this, there's a cupcake here and here it's more like the carrots and the juicing, the health. Okay, there's just something, maybe some of you had to quit a habit. There's something here about some healthier habit. And when you do this, you might not realize, but that's part of you transmuting darkness. Some of you might have had like an addiction, you know? Yeah, wow. The Queen of Cups. So there's definitely finally here some really strong merge here of your compassionate self with the mind. There's some, some type of rebalancing of the heart because the heart is very connected to the, you know that 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 feel of truth but through compassion but the mind is the truth through through the mind and there's just it's almost like being in alignment with your truth in December 2023 pile 4 okay but it's a process you're going through that process okay wow 10 of cups you're going to have and find very strong emotional fulfillment through this process, part number four. I can feel it. This is strong. Your initiation, you know, remember everything you want to initiate, your feminine energy, doing things differently. I would say something a little silly as brushing your teeth with the opposite hand or trying to do things with the opposite hand. If you're righty or lefty, just try to reverse things. Um... Because, you know, it's like a reversal. Some of you, I feel like maybe if you had like, it's almost like a reversal of luck, karmic debt that was paid. This feels very strong. And you may have feel like felt that your life was a paradox. It's like, like, I felt like I was like such a light being and I walk such darkness. And now is your time. There's some huge shift for you, part number four. I can feel it. <clears throat> Especially also in the way you're going to talk about what you have gone through or you're going through, the way you communicate. There's an upgrade here. Let me see that. Yeah, King of Pentacles. You have a lot of, and I like that because we're, we're channeling the earth. It's almost as, as you allow all this process, you're going to be able to make your cake and eat it too. You know, have your cake and eat it too. There's something about generosity, abundance a new life that is coming for you i love this for you pile number four that's all i have wow december is feeling really special in so many ways 
So I trust this has supported you. Please leave a comment, leave a thumbs up, whatever. And if you need personal guidance, I have all my services available in the description below. Thank you so very much. Namaste.